Hey guys, my name is Scobie and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to connect your Switch Pro controller to your PC and then show you how to set it up and use it automatically in Steam. This is going to be a nice, quick and easy tutorial. I'm going to be showing you step by step how to do everything. Let's jump right into this. So currently there is two methods or ways to connect your Switch Pro controller to your PC. The first and probably the easiest is going to be the wired method. For this, all you need to have is a USB to a USB-C cable. What we're going to be doing is connecting the USB to our computer. In this case, I just plugged it into my dock right now, just as an example. And then what we're going to be doing is getting the USB-C side and we're going to be connecting it to the top of our Switch Pro controller. Now, just like that, the blue light will come on on the face of your Switch Pro controller. And just like that, it'll be connected and start working inside Windows. The second method is we're going to be using is wireless or in this case, Case specifically Bluetooth. So for this method to work, your computer is of course going to need to have Bluetooth or you're going to need to have a Bluetooth dongle connected to your computer. What we're going to be doing from this point is we're going to be grabbing our Switch Pro controller and we're going to be pointing to the top right here and right next to our USB-C cable, you'll see this small synchronization button. What we're going to be doing is pressing and holding this for a couple of seconds and then our controller should go into syncing mode. You'll know it's in syncing mode when you look at the bottom and you see this green light flashing from left to right and this means our controller is currently searching for and looking for new devices to connect to. From this point, what we're going to be doing is coming over to our Windows device. We're going to be clicking on our Windows Start key, or you can just click anywhere in the search. And we're going to be searching for Bluetooth. And we're going to be looking for our Bluetooth settings right here. Once this opens up, what we're going to be doing is searching for a new Bluetooth device. In this case, once you search for a new device here at the very top, you'll have to select one of these three. Now for today's video, I'm actually going to be clicking on this one right here. And then all we need to do is wait for our controller to be found. This can take a couple of seconds. I would recommend keeping your controller close to your PC during this process, just so it can find it quickly and eventually it will show up here as pro controller as you can see I have it right here and all you need to do is left click on this and then our controller will start to be connected now depending on how long it took you to set up your controller and then turn on your Bluetooth and start searching you may need to double check that your controller is still in Bluetooth searching mode so that is one thing you might want to check just to make sure that the green light at the bottom is searching from left to right and once they are fully connected the blue light on your controller may show up for me it didn't actually show up here while using the Bluetooth method however when I connected it to my main desktop and not my laptop that I'm using at the moment it did show up so just because it doesn't show up doesn't mean it won't work so keep this with a grain of salt you can feel free to test this by just clicking up and down here as you can see it'll actually highlight some of the different icons on my bluetooth settings right here so that means your controller can work and just like that you've just set up and connected your switch pro controller to your pc so what you need to do is open up steam we're going to be coming up to the top right and you're going to be clicking big picture mode right here we need to select this and then our steam is going to load into big picture this can take a couple of seconds to load up once this loads up what we're going to be doing is grabbing our controller or feel free to use your mouse if you want we're going to be clicking up and we're going to be going up to the settings right here on the top right. Then from here, we're going to be going to the left. We're going to be going to controller and we're going to be clicking on controller settings right here. And now what we're going to be doing is scrolling down and we're going to be enabling Switch Pro configuration support. And we have one extra option here also use Nintendo button layout. So you can feel free to use that. So your A and B are switched. Whatever feels more natural to you, you can feel free to use. To exit big picture, you can simply go up to the top right, click on the power button and simply click exit big picture. And you can feel free to exit big picture mode on Steam. And this will allow your controller to automatically be supported in a lot of Steam games, just like it is with an original Xbox controller or with a PS4 controller. Now, just like that, you can see on screen, I'm actually playing some Rocket League with this controller and it works really, really well. And if you already have one, it can be a great little PC controller, especially if you already have Bluetooth, it'll work wirelessly. And the battery life on this thing is great. Anyway, guys, it's as easy as that to connect a Switch Pro controller to your PC and even how to set up and start using it in Steam. Anyway, guys, it's as easy as that to set up and use a Switch Pro controller on Steam. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like. Like, subscribe if you're new, check out the other videos on the channel. I'm going to be leaving a link down below to my PayPal if you find these videos helpful and you want to support me. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.